Look at that dust on there. Can you see it? Here's a globe, tips towards Daystar. And you start to see all the muck that's collected over winter, don't you? Looking inside there, ooh, it makes you feel right grubby. Makes you want to do spring cleaning. So that's when we decide. That these windows need cleaning. And all these plants here. These uh, have been overwintering in the house. They'll be able to come out in a month or so. There's no chance of a heavy frost anymore. Yuccas and olives, avocado. So that's my life, cleaning windows, removing matter which is in the wrong place when I'm cleaning windows hey old missus I used to have that sponge on a stick type of uh, can't find it at the moment the price they charge for those things is unbelievable I wish my brother was here. He's a professional window cleaner. He'd do the job properly for me. It's too bloody expensive. Now I've been using tap water and it's rubbish. Because our tap water is quite hard. Look where it's just all covered in little speckles of of um, lime. So what I've done now is into the tank and filled up a tank of a tank of uh, water from the from the rainwater catchment tank from the roof. We'll see if that works any better now. Now I've tried using everything and. Uh, I find that all those things you buy for cleaning windows are basically rubbish. All says nicotinium tenside, and every every single cleaner seems to have that stuff on. So we're going to try it. Uh, tree hugging, clog wearing, green feeling type styler today, and we're going to use this stuff, and that's concentrated vinegar essence. So it's basically acid, really. We'll see if that cuts the grease. So I've mixed the, uh, the um, vinegar essence with a bit of water here and we'll hopefully that will cut through the grease. It's not that greasy but see how it goes. So that's much, much better with rainwater. So that's one tip. Use rainwater if you can to clean your windows because it's very soft and it's got no lime in it, which leaves streaks all over the place. So just to recap, as I say, I've tried all the chemicals you can buy. Windoline, window fix, Mr. Proper, whatever you want to call it. And I found that the best thing to use is essence of vinegar. It's mixed in the water. And it stinks like a fish and chip shop a bit. But it cuts through the, uh, the grease and dust on the window unbelievably. It's cheap as well. It doesn't cost much for a bottle. You can even drink it if you dilute it. It's a bit like Jesus on the cross. Remember when they gave him the sponge with vinegar in it? And of 
course, if you can use it, if you can find it, use rainwater from a barrel because it don't leave any streaks on there anymore. shouldn't wash windows on a sunny day not with the sun shining on them because they are it dries on before you can go off with the squeegee with it if you can see that on the video all these finger marks on here I'll just do you a little test and you can see I'll do one stripe how it gets rid of it this this vinegar Go along with the squeegee just to test so you can see the difference. Don't know if you can see it on the video there, but that's a crap everywhere there, there, and that's the line I've just cleaned with the vinegar. So that's the bottom windows done. Now we've just got to do the top ones. So, as you can see, it's not all um, champagne and caviar being a stay at home dad. Got all these bloody windows to clean. So, that's it from me today. Hope you're having a great day and you're enjoying it as much as I am. Happy spring cleaning when you get round to it.